root 28m squared over root 8. Before I get started combining everything into the same radical, what I'll do is that I will break things down a little bit, just because we have m squared over here, and the root of m squared is just m. So we have everything all over 8, or sorry, root 8. And of course, what I did here is that I just broke down the root 28m squared into root 28 times root m squared. What will that do? Well, here we have root 28. The root of m squared is just m all over root 8. OK, now something that I can do is that, well, I want to combine the root 28 and the root 8. So I will. I'll make this root 28 over 8 times m. I'm fully allowed to do this just because um, I can basically bring the m out and make it in an uh, m over 1 and multiply the fraction which is root 28 over root 8. I hope that makes sense to everyone. And right now, 28 over 8, I can simplify this slightly. Let me just quickly change the color so no one gets confused. I can divide top and bottom by 4. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. And 8 divided by 4 is just 2. So now we have root 7 over 2 times m. The m is just chilling out outside here. And now that we have root 7 over 2, I'm just going to break things down a little bit further and write root 7 over root 2. My preference is actually to put the m in front of the radical, so I'll just leave the m in front here. So it's m times root 7 over root 2. And at this point, I want to get rid of the root 2 because that is a radical down at the bottom that um, we need to rationalize. How are we going to rationalize it? Well, I will just multiply the top and bottom by root 2. So I multiply the whole thing by root 2 over root 2. What that will do is that we're going to get rid of the radical on the bottom. So we have m root 7 times root 2. So root 7 times root 2 is just root 14. All over, root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which is equivalent to 2. So our final answer is basically m root 14 all over 2. That's it.